What's up, everybody? It's your boy Mad Max back at it with a great another what if. Um, like, this is a what if about me. What if I was easy kind? And just so you know, that I will be choosing three, how about four? No, nah, three subscribers to be put in the next part of this what if about me. So, yeah. So. We have a young Kogan Yamagi who is in the place of me because I, I don't want to reveal my real name for reasons. We have a young Kogan Yamagi. Kogan Yamagi was, how do you say it? He was a smart boy, but he, but he made me like, but he mainly liked anime. Until one fateful day when he was walking home from school, a man stole this lady's purse, right? And Kogan took it upon himself to go capture the man. When he got to the man, he tackled him down, and the man pulled out a gun and shot Kogan five times in the chest, dying right there. Kogan, how do you say it? He was okay with it because um because um, at least he doesn't have to go through all the bullying and just so you know i did not get bullied in school so yeah so um kogan basically prayed to the to anything out there to to, to um, give him a second chance and due to the universe's magnificent shitty work he got a second chance, but he stood in front of the judges of different dimensions. King Yama from Dragon Ball, Kaguya, Kaguya, the anti sparrows from um, Gordon Lagan, SAO, and hmm, Pokemon and My Hero. And we also have one. Who sits somewhere near the power of a god? Rick Sanchez. Because Rick Sanchez is, why not? Somewhat a god. But there is one thing, I mean, but there is one person who sits at the top of the gods. I mean, of the anime gods. His name is Golden, Scolden. He's from a reality where think of every anime you have seen, watched, and and heard of, are all in one. Kogan took control of of a, of all of that in his world. And his world is dying. His his galaxy is basically dying off. Planets are disappearing everything but he thinks that just because there are different worlds i mean like the, there are different dimensions out there like his but have different pieces of his in that world he'd be able to recreate his world so Co so kogan was um, standing there, he saw a big reddish man with, um, horns and a desk. I mean, not a desk, but like a meeting table. Just like what the Just League has. Sorry for that. Kogan, excuse me. So, Kogan sat there, I mean, I mean stood there, seeing this man, and he said, King Yama? And he saw another person with, with um white hair, with long white hair, and a third eye and horns, and she was in an office, um like dress or something I think. She was like in an office, somewhat outfit. It's like she worked in an office outfit, and he said Kaguya, and he saw the other person, the 
anti-spirals. And he sort of got into his defense. And he saw Bleach. My Hero. Pokemon. And so many other who are in the shadows at this moment. And he saw... Um, I forgot his name that I gave him, but like the guy who basically wanted to recreate his whole world. He basically, um, King Emma spoke saying, boy, you have been a great pleasure in helping us study your world from your eyes. But then, but then they all, but, I mean, but then... King, but then King Yama stopped. And then, you know, Kaguya started speaking, saying, But look, you shouldn't have helped that human. That human deserved what she did. But then, but then, um, Kogan basically said, No. He, I mean, like, she really didn't deserve it. Then he and Kaguya started arguing. King Yama tried to calm him down. But then the one who sits at the throne, like, at the very top, Basically said, shut up, boy. That's punishment for arguing with the lady of the Naruto world. You will be pushed into her dimension. And and um, you will need to find out how to get out of it quickly. I mean, not quickly, but like, somewhat quickly. But then... But then the only thing you can hear is like a big whoosh. And, and Kogan Yanagi has been trapped inside of the Naruto world. So this was around when, how do you say it? When Orochimaru basically tricked Sasuke into joining him, right? So, so everything happens, like the Konoha crush, that happens. So, your boy, Yanagi, has, like, is falling out in the sky. He is falling out the sky, and he hit his head, and he's asleep. He's literally asleep on the ground. But then... But then you hear, but then we cut to the sound for and Sasuke. They're like, they are walking. I mean, like they're leaping. They're, they um, are leaping from tree to tree. And um, one of them spots um, Kogan. And he senses like a weird energy coming off of him and um he tells one of them to go pick up that boy he could be with um konoha and we may need to do some experiments on him just like um lord Oro just like lord orochimaru told us so the sound for and sasuke they all make it back to orochimaru like uh, sorry they all make it back to Or. Rochimaru's base. And and um Rochimaru is getting mad with them because like why did they bring back an another boy? But then but then he sees the immense power coming off of Kogan. Due to him being sent to this world and having the knowledge of what Rochimaru is gonna do. He basically, how do you say it? He basically tells what well, one the sound for to take um Kogan to the experimenting room, and uh, and and um at the experimenting room, Kabuto is in there. Cause why not? Kabuto is a shitty person. So um. Kogan is on the table, 
and Orochimaru, he is getting prepared to do some tests. He does test on Kogan. Sorry if you heard that. But Kogan. But, um, Orochimaru gives Kogan... How do you say it? He gives him... Like... He gives Kogan... Power. Like... He gives him, like, lightning, lightning release, and, um, and then fire release, and so does earth release. So, yeah. And he also gives him the curse mark. But he, but deep, but that curse mark is not like no other curse mark. Orochimaru, as he was, um, looking for, like, different things he could use to make the curse mark stronger for him, he finds, he finds, uh, how do you say it? He accidentally stumbled upon a dragon egg, like a dragon egg. You know, scratch that, because the dragons are a sacred bunch. But, um, yeah. Kogan, he has something inside the curse mark. That curse mark is, uh, how do you say it? It has a monkey. And not the same Goku. But, hmm. I'll say that some Goku, he was never made. He's wondering, but Max, that, like, but, um, Son Goku is a tail beast. He's supposed to be made. But instead of, you know, there's one, like, hold on. So, yeah, yeah. For, um, Son Goku is not made by the, um, Sage of Six Paths. So, um, there are still the nine tail beasts. Like the, like there are nine Jinchuriki still, but, but, um, one of them is a lion. But, yeah. So, yeah. So, Son Goku is sealed. But, yeah. Um, in the... Monkey summoning jutsu. Orochimaru made a deal with um the snake summoning and Son Goku. He basically forced Son Goku to merge with the snake, which creating a snake Son Goku. So we have a mixture of Son Goku and how do you say it? A snake something. And he sealed it within. Um. Kag. Um. Fuck. Kag. Uh, ka, uh, I'm not. Kaguya. Not Kaguya, but um. Kogan. He sealed it inside Kogan. And Kogan is feeling immense pain. Because um. He has never felt. This much pain of a tail beast before, so why not? So Orochimaru basically tells Kabuto to take Naruto. I mean, to take, our to take Kogan into a cell, and this cell is a very strong one built to hold a Jinchuriki. So, yeah, Kogan he wakes up. And his cell, and next to his cell, there is a Uzumaki, who's a seal master. This Uzumaki, I'm not going to give him a name, because he's just going to die. But this Uzumaki basically has an idea. After seeing Kogan and sensing his energy, he basically thinks, if I give this boy my power, I may be free from this hellhole. So, as Kabuto was giving food to, you know, all of them, because cause Orochimaru wants to do more to them. 
and as Kogan, I mean, as the Uzumaki wakes up, he basically touches Naruto. I mean, he basically touches Kogan. And in doing so, he gives him, like, um, different, like, Kiki Genkai. He gives him different types of Kiki Genkai. To the point where he, I want to say, turns like this. Uh, um, his, oh, sorry. His hair is white, and he has this weird thing growing out from his right eye, which is this part right here. That, like, that's what's growing out from there. It's like a metalish form. But due to him having immense power, it's hidden. since it's hidden, or Orochimaru is not able to sense it, and next day, Kogan, he basically sits next to a wall, saying, this is going to be another day, being experimented on, being used, up until we hear a loud thunk, and that is... You guessed it, Sasuke. Sasuke found out that Orochimaru was using him for his body, not in the way that we all expected it to go down. But yeah, he, Sasuke finds out, unlike in, like, he finds out about it. But then at the same time, he thinks, after seeing that boy Kogan, he basically as he was I want to say as he was leaving the place after he killed Orochimaru, so called killed Orochimaru, he went to Kogan's cell and opened it saying, Wake up boy. We gotta go quickly. And Kogan's like, thank God, Sasuke. And since Sasuke's been there like with Kogan yeah, it, it sort of worked. It sort of turns out great. But Kogan, he gets up and he runs out the door with Sasuke. And as he was doing that, he passes something like a lab, and he tells Sasuke to wait. He sees the lab and he's and he remembers who is being created here. It is Mitsuki. Miski is the son of um, Orochimaru. But look, as he was saying, like, as he was telling, you know, Sa um, Sasuke to hold up, he stumbles upon a summoning contract. This summoning contract is like the Snake Sage. And right by it, it was a lion, like a lion sage, too. Kogan takes the lion sage and gives um, Sasuke the snake sage. And he also found a katana. But as he touched the katana, it was a cursed katana. This cursed katana wields a dangerous being, calling himself um, the snake lord, the snake monkey lord. Shungoku. Shungoku is a mixture of the snake that merged with um, Son Goku, the tail beast. Not, not the tail beast, but like the summoning. As he basically, as he, you know, was merged with it, he gained the name Shungoku. And in doing so, Shingoku was basically seeing, like, sort of looking through the eyes of, of Kogan. Yeah, Kogan. He was seeing what Kogan was doing. Now back to Kogan. He takes the Lion Sage. And he dips out of that motherfucker. And he takes the um, sword too. 
since um Shingo um since um Shingoku and the merged snake beast inside of Kogan. The beast feels the power and he thinks this is a part of my body. But how? And he and, and Shingoku remembers. Orochimaru took a piece of me and made it into a sword. Because he was going to give it to Sasuke. As power. So, back to Kogan. Kogan and Sasuke leaves. And in doing so... He basically marks down where he marks down where Orochimaru bases. As he was leaving, as he was leaving away from the base, Sa um, Sasuke tells him like, "Hey, I'm gonna go back to the leaf and saying like I'm sorry and stuff to my people in there." And then Kogan remembers, "Isn't Konoha that piece of shit up? Uh, uh, like, isn't it the piece of shit of a village?" That um Naruto is in. Ow, oh, I got a bump in my ear. Sorry, but yeah, he says, "Are you coming?" And Kogan says, "Yeah." Kogan and Sasuke they arrive like it's been like a, like twenty five minutes. They arrive at the base. I mean, they arrive at the gates of Konoha, and as everybody was, how do you say it, was looking for Sasuke, Kogan walks in with Sasuke, and the guards doesn't stop Sasuke, but they stop Kogan. Kogan was one like, oh yeah, I forgot they're racist pieces of shit. Because the guards, after the war, they, how do you say it? They made sure, like, the Cloud Ninja didn't really have a way to get in. And they basically thought that all the people in the Cloud Ninja were black, so. Uh, these are racist bitches. But then Sasuke t says, It's okay, he saved me. And the guard says, Okay, fine. And. And as Sasuke was walking in. Everybody was saying, Sasuke, Sasuke, you're okay. And as we all know, as we all know this, he, how do you say it? He was with your boy. He was with, um, like, Kogan. Ooh, shoot, they got the same bed as me. I got a dip. Mmm. Adios. So, um, yeah. They go to the Hokage office. The ones... Okay, Hokage, um, Hokage office. And, how do you say it? Um, Sasuke is really not okay, cause he basically thought, like, I did all this to my village, my home, but then he remembers why he went to Orochimaru, to, to get stronger, but as he was thinking that, Kogan, <coughs> but as Kogan said, I know why you want to get that power. It's to kill your brother. Isn't that right, Sasuke Uchiha? And he is basically talking to Ko um he and Kogan is talking to Sasuke like he knows him well. Kogan explains like he doesn't explain why um Itachi did all that stuff, but he explains that he got stronger and killed his brother. Which is lying to Sasuke about that. Hold on. Uh. <coughs> and since Kogan is sort of not from this world, he basically knows what's going to, like, he knows what's going to happen in the future. 
Thank you, Boruto. He basically says like um like he he doesn't explain the whole power thing to Sasuke, but he explains like the friendship thing, giving him that talk no jutsu, you feel me? If you're wondering, isn't Naruto supposed to be the only one who's supposed to do that to people? No. Since Kogan is from our world, he gives, like, he, you know, learned to talk no jutsu. Like, he, he learned it from Naruto. From, um, from, um, watching Naruto, like, a lot. So, Ko so, um, Kogan does that. <laughs> In the background, um, never mind. But um, in but Kogan gives Sasuke the talking about Jutsu about friendship and shit, and we both and there's a big boom. A man we all know is K who is not Kakashi, but Danta walks into the once known Haruzen office, and he is scattering stuff like off the desk and everything. He's finding the, like, he finds, like, he finds, like, files, scrolls, different jutsus. And Kogan remembers what Donzo did. And he whispers to Sasuke, saying, that's the guy who ordered your parents to be dead. He wanted your parents to be dead. And guess what he has up under his other arm? He has all the eyes of your family, Sasuke. And Sasuke gets enraged by this. And he turns into his, um, I forgot the name of it, but like, the curse mark state. And he blisses in, killing Donzo. And Donzo was, like, surprised. Because um, he thought that Orochimaru took him. And Sasuke kills Donzo right there. And how do you say it? As Sasuke was still stabbing Donzo's dead body, he, like, Kogan basically took advantage of this and told him to stop. I think I know how to get him back. And, and like, Sasuke says, oh, cool. And he's panning like, oh my god, I killed Donzo. What have I done? I'm a rogue ninja now. But then, at the same time, Kogan basically explains that that guy forced your brother to kill your clan. And he remembered, like, oh yeah, screw him. So, at this point in time, Kogan and Sasuke are ransacking the place of Donzo. He finds, like, the eyes of the Uchiha, and he unlocks his Mangekyo Sharingan. At the same time, but then, like, he unlocks his eternal Mangeki Sharingan, and in doing so, so um, damn it, I forgot his name, but um, Ko um, Kogan, Ko Kaigo, Kaigo. fuck, but um, Ko um, Kogan, yeah, why keep forgetting my own character's name? But, um, Kogan basically says, hold on, before you go full-on suicidal and kill everybody, here. And he pulls out the eyes of his mother and father. His mother had the eternal Makeke Sharingan, so, and so did his father. So, um, since his mother and father both have the same chakra, somewhat, the, like, somewhat of the same chakra, they both have the same chakra eyes so so kogan does a you know transplant on sasuke eyes and he has the manga kyo sharingan and if you're wondering like why is he doing this like shouldn't you be going and leaving the village to go to a different village yes but look there's gonna be a twist and as sasuke gained his power Kogan found something interesting. He found, like, he, he found, uh, he found another sword that, you know, Fugaku and 
um, Sasuke mother left Sasuke. And Kogan basically grabs a sword, feeling the immense power, the immense strength that is very much emanating off of it. And he throws it to Sasuke, saying, Hey, here. And Sasuke is wondering, like, What's wrong? And he sees the logo on it, and it's the Uchiha symbol. And, yeah. The Uchiha symbol, and Kogan smiles, saying, I think your mother and father may have wanted that. To give that to you. And, and Sasuke, he doesn't cry, but like, deep down, he's like, he's smiling, saying, thank you, Kogan. So, yeah. Kogan, at this point in time, he's sort of thinking, like, should I leave this village? And should I leave him here? But then he remembers, the council hates Naruto. So, yeah. And then he smirks, and he says, hey. Sasuke Uchiha, do you know a person named Naruto, named Naruto Uzumaki? I'm sorry for studying the, like, sorry for studying that name. I am very much sorry about that. But yeah. Hold on, my phone's on Monday, I mean, as you all see. So yeah. And at this point in time, yeah, and at this point in time, Sasuke says, yeah, I know that dope. But at the, but at the same time, as he was saying that, um, Kogan disappears, and Sasuke says, eh, whatever. And he leaves the, um, base. And now back to Kogan. Kogan basically goes to every council member's house even sakura's and he makes it look like an accident making it look like let's say it that fugaku not fugaku but um but um i forgot his name but um the one who killed who ordered so um the clan of the uchiha to be massacred him yeah Donzo, yeah, th yeah, that's his name. He made it look like that Donzo did it, and at the same time, he made it look like the council members fought him and killed him. So the village blames Donzo and the um, other like Black Ops members. Now, now he does all that stuff, and he remembers something. The fourth, like, the first Hokage, we didn't get, like, the full story. We did get the full story of the Hokage, right? Of the, um, first Hokage. But he didn't explain something. He, um, he did something for the village that no one knew of. So... Our boy Kogan, he goes to the Stone Faces, and as he was doing that, we get some flashbacks of the first Hokage, as he made like a little place to store all his weapons and the Senju, like to um, store all the Senju strongest Jutsu's weapons and and the um Kekyu Genkai. He basically stored that inside of the stone faces of his, like, uh, like of his and Tobirama's faces. And so did, um, Haruzen and Minato. So Kogan goes there and he sees, and he goes here and he sees something that, um, no other should have be spotted before. He sees a seal of the, um... Of the Namakaze, and this seal was the we all know it as the Reaper Dev seal. In doing so, um, the first Hokage, um, Hashirama placed his own soul in in um Tobirama's inside of the seal, like put every piece of chakra in his soul inside the um seal. So as he goes there, and as he goes. And he rips it off, 
with no ease, but like in doing so, he keeps it like like he keeps it like he you know like it was still there. And as he opens up the um safe inside the stone face of um Hashirama, he sees some things like cause like I want to say that Hashirama has some of the things inside his scrolls. So um yeah. He goes there and he goes through everything. And he sees a picture of Madara and um Hashirama at first. And he also sees one of him and Tobirama. So yeah. Hashirama, Tobirama, and um Madara. So he remembers Madara is still alive. And he grins and he says upon his breath, this will be a fun little test of Madara's strength. So at this point, why not? Why the fuck not? He goes and he remembers where the Akatsuki base is. If you're wondering why, like, like, um, why am I rushing it so fast? It is because I'm trying to get to the next world. So, yeah. So, our boy. So, basically, Kogan remembers where the Koski base is and he goes there. And in doing so, he creates, like, these shadow clones because he sort of learned that after, um, like, seeing Orochimaru and seeing how Sasuke talked about Naruto on the way to Konoha. So, yeah. He makes Shadow Clones and, like, he also, and he tells him to push Chakra, which is not Chakra, but, like, Metro Chakra, a portion of that is Chakra, into the seals. And, like, in doing so, he also told another clone to punch the boulder. And, and like, the boulder is destroyed, and so are the seals. So, so at this point, yeah. Kogan walks into the Koski base. And he sees, um, I'll say he sees Deirara and Sasori. And, like, some of the Koski there, too. <laughs> and Toby, too. So, yeah. Now. Um. What am I going to go with this? So, he walks in there, and he remembers that, um. I forgot his name, but, like, um. Black Zetsu is going to be in the shadows. So he basically comes out into the light. And he and as he's doing it, he claps his hand saying, Wow, the Akatsuki. What a nice surprise. And in doing so, all the Akatsuki members just blitz and attack him. And as, and, and as he, I mean, and as they are attacking him, he basically pulls out a seal that he took from Orochimaru's, you know, lab. Because why not? He took a seal from there and he placed it on the ground and he marked them all on the back. If you're wondering, like, how is he doing this? The Akashi are the strongest people in the nations. But, 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 he infused those seals with with literal he infused them with literal key. Key is something that has not been studied inside of Naruto. So he goes and he and he um and he accidentally 
opens up one of his Kekigenkai, which is a searching Kekigenkai, and he sees like this little room. And as he is walking over there, Toby, who is Obito, I do not, yeah, who is Obito, he, how do you say it? He is scared because, like, he knows that's where Madara Uchiha is. And as he's trying to move, he breaks free of the seal. And he runs over there. And in doing so, he gets face palmed. Because, look, he heard that, um, I, he heard, um, t Toby running over there. And he turned, and, um, ah, oh, fuck, I forgot his name. Kaku. Kaku. Shit. Kagun. No. Ah, oh, fuck. Kagun. You know what? For the rest of the story, I'm gonna be calling him Kagun, okay? Kagun turns around, and he grabs him by the face, slams him down into the ground, breaking the ground. In doing so, he falls to the place where Madara Uchiha body is, you know, sitting. And as Toby, you know, faces the rock and he fades back up, Kagun walks. Like, he, you know, stands up and he runs over there to Madara's body. And he goes over there. He basically kills him and burning him and everything and how do you say it oh like um obito he's screaming like my body you killed me but then kagun turns around saying no your name is obito uchiha you are friends with a man named Sasuke Uchiha. Your friend, Ren, died. Your master died by the hands of you. This man, his name is Madara Uchiha. He killed your mother. But he, but at the same time, Kogan, shit, I remember his name. Kogan basically said all that stuff to Obito because he snapped back. And in doing so, he's crying like, I, he, he killed my mother. He killed my friend. And he is crying. He is crying his eyes out. So, yeah. This is the end of the what if... This is a what if that I wanted to do personally for me. I know that some of you may not like it, but like, please don't judge me on it. If you like it, put down like a comment or something saying it's trash, it's not good, or something like that. And then if you're saying it's okay, please, 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 give me some pointers on how to, you know, fix it, and I will, and I will refix it.